everybody to Hell House. Join us as we pick up where we left off in part one as we go deeper into the forest. After the colonnade, we continued down the main path. That used to be the main road. That is now marred with numerous sinkholes. That's where we came across a left-hand path and decided to follow it. What we found was a giant pool carved into the solid rock of the mountain, abandoned for decades, covered in graffiti. The pool had been filled years ago with the remains of brick and stone buildings to help accelerate the reclamation of nature. continued on the dangerous road deeper into the woods. When we came upon another decaying, forgotten victim. It was riddled with bullet holes and tetanus. Not the place to stick around. Hot Rod kept moving forward while I stayed behind to get footage of our last victim. I had not heard from him for a while and became concerned, so I went to go find him. The trees began to get louder as the day went on, like they were talking or warning us not to be there. I thought he may be in danger. Still clean. <laughs> Just not the GoPro or the Just new not. controller. Oh, is it rugged? Yeah, it's holding up. It's rugged. I just got to push that rubber gasket back in. What is this? Just a water tank? It's a water tank. They climb through the hole in there and they go in there and party. Is there a beer can? Oh, yeah, everywhere. Oh, yeah. 
the only way in. And then it looks like they climb up on the top too. It's nothing around there, it's just graffiti. Should I post this on YouTube? For a sexy time. That's the number you want to call. You would find that. It's right there. Somebody drew a penis on the tree over there. No way. Hot Rod's misfortune. Hey man. This I'm is still, trail. I'm still clean though. My hands, my controller, and my GoPro got dirty. The crawler went right up no problem though. Imagine that. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, surf down the hill? I was walking up it. Took a surf. Lost my feetage. Don't worry, I'll probably follow you right here. Nope. I made it. All these trees are making creaking noises up here. Yeah. I noticed that. We decided it was time to start heading back. We'd been there for several hours at this point, and it would be getting dark soon. I guess this was the main road. The remains of this road were the only way in or out of the upper house. On our way back, something strange happened. sun came out for the first time all day, and the energy and atmosphere of the area changed. Despite all the rumors and legends of negativity and evil, this area still contains a large amount of positive and illuminating energy, which is probably why so many people are still drawn to it. In fact, the law of conservation states that energy can be altered, but it cannot be created or destroyed. It doesn't get very airborne though. I didn't feel any negative, evil energy while we were there, but then again, I don't think I would go there at night either.
All right, I hope you guys liked that video. I'm still having a lot of fun doing this voiceover like this. It's just making me laugh. If you liked it, like the video, subscribe, smash the bell, and please share it. I've got part three coming up soon. Um, basically, it's going to be kind of like a blooper reel, maybe. I don't know. I haven't even started it yet, but we'll see where it goes.